Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Okay, so it is pretty early here for me, I'm not gonna lie, uh, <laughs> but NRS has just dropped the actual official gameplay trailer for Omni-Man, which presumably will also have his release date. So I jumped up out of bed and I threw some lipstick on, didn't bother doing the rest of my makeup, sorry. <laughs> and we're going to check out this trailer, we're going to react to it. So we already did see a preview of Omni-Man uh, and we got to see his one of his fatalities. So this isn't going to be all brand new stuff, uh, but this is, I guess, a more expanded gameplay trailer. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see what they're going to show here that's going to be different from what we saw previously. Regardless, I'm really interested to just kind of check him out and I'm very nervous about the Tremor cameo. So let's watch this together. Here we go. Oh, I feel like his face has uh, been worked out a little bit maybe since the last trailer even. What good would your death accomplish? Inspiring future generations. Gotta love J.K. Simmons. You. Oh boy, there's Tremor. All right, let's see. Okay. Now, yeah, we saw something like that. Yeah, there's the. Highly doubt a blind swordsman can kill me. His face looks really good. Oh, Tremor. Oh, oh, yeah. So the air stuff's gonna be fun. Okay. That's his throw. The cocky one. You're the cocky one. one. <laughs> By a man in a cape? I do not think so. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh lord. He's just flying all over the screen. Got that. What? That was an interesting way that the Trevor cameo came in. Ooh! Okay, there it was again. The dodge. I'm gonna have to see that. Let's go. Metallic. No! Crystalline! Here's the fatal blow, and I'm just like, yeah, it looks really cool, but I'm currently freaking out about Crystalline Trevor! This is what I was saying, I was scared of. Okay, they get to show the different fatality or the same fatality? Same fatality, but that's okay because it's really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> fatality. Omni Man wins. Flawless victory. Uh, okay, wait, the ninth. The ninth. Okay, November 9th. Oop. Oh, and there's the there's the Trevor fatality. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so the 9th! So we do have an official date now for Omni-Man's release. Um, that is November 9th. Now it does say early access. So purchase the premium edition or combat pack for early access to Omni-Man. So those of us like uh, me who have the premium edition or the collector's edition, you already have him and you will be able to play him on the 9th. Um, if you don't have the premium edition, if you just got the standard one, you could go now and buy the combat pack and you would also get access to him on the 9th. But presumably what this means is that if you just have the standard edition and you do not buy the combat pack before the 9th, uh, then they'll just have uh, him, Omni-Man, available as an individual DLC character, but not as soon, presumably. They've done something like this in the past. Like, I'm not 100% because it doesn't have, like, a, another date. Um, but I guess that's probably what it's going to be. But So, the 9th is when he will be available. And I'm guessing also the Tremor cameo. 
I do feel like it looks like they have worked on his face even more since the original um, little preview for him. It looks even more detailed and really well done. Um, J.K. Simmons, of course, is voicing him. He is also the voice of Omni-Man uh, in the show. So it's really cool that they're able to do that. And he's always a fantastic uh, actor and voice actor, whether it's a live acting or voice acting. So I expect people to be a bit more satisfied with this than they were with the Megan Fox one. Um, so yes, a lot of the stuff we saw was the same. It was the same fatality, but that's okay. As I said, it's still really cool. And I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna admit something right now, guys. I've actually not seen Invincible yet. So let me know if you think that I should watch that before he comes out or like at, at least start watching it before he comes out. I know there's also a second season that's uh, being released very shortly. So, but, but I am told that there is like a train scene like this in the show. And that kind of makes it perfect because not only is that an appropriate fatality for the character, if that is relevant to the show, but it's also a throwback to a classic... Uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, both stage and, and fatality, so with the subway and the train. So I just think that's super cool that they were able to do that and that it has double the meaning. Um, it's interesting. So he's got the dodge move and we saw a little bit of that in the preview. And so I saw it early on in this trailer and I was like, yeah, there's the dodge. But then we saw a lot more of it later. And it looked at first that it was just like a dodge that he could do like a dodge of the projectiles, but then later it looks like he's dodging kind of everything. So I'm really curious to see a more thorough breakdown of some of his mechanics and what kind of like his unique abilities like that are that differentiate him from a lot of the cast. I think a lot of people were speculating that he'd have some, that he'd be very Superman-y and you know, there's obviously some elements of that, but, and I don't mean like in terms of Superman as a character in general. I mean, like, Injustice Superman. But he definitely seems quite different. So, which is cool. Which is cool. Um, yeah. So, I, like I said, I'm really curious to see more of a breakdown of how he plays. But the big shocking thing, and... <sighs> Crystalline Tremor. Okay. So, Ed Boon posted a tweet. Um, I think it was last week? A week and a half ago, something like that where he basically showed off that the Tremor cameo is going to have variations. So MKX, we saw variations for all the different characters, and he showed two variations, and the name was of two variations, whereas every character in MKX had three. So everyone was a little uncertain and afraid about the appearance of the third variation that was not shown in the tweet, but that was available in MKX, and that was known as Crystalline. Because um, Crystalline Tremor had this ridiculous armor. And I personally am terrified of that coming back through this cameo. And what we saw in this, in this trailer, even though we didn't, like... see the armor per se, we saw Crystalline is there. So Crystalline Tremor does exist, is going to be a variation of the Tremor cameo, and I'm so scared. I'm so scared to see what this is going to do uh, and how everyone's going to be using this cameo. But I'm also really just curious to see how they're going to do this, having a cameo with different variations. Uh, it's going to be very different than the other cameos. And I wonder if they'll do that with more cameos going forward or if it's just going to be a Trevor exclusive thing or if it's going to be like an MKX character exclusive thing because we know that Farah is also going to be a cameo. So maybe she'll also have variations, but the other cameos won't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of possibilities. But yeah, so I'm, I'm very curious to see what both of these characters, the cameo and the main roster character of Omni-Man, are going to be like when they come out. And I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts as well. So, man, I'm still really tired, but I'm glad I got to get up and react to this for you guys. So I'm going to wrap this up, get to editing so I can post it. But please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about both Omni-Man and tremor crystalline or otherwise um and if you have any questions comments please leave them down below as well thank you so much for joining me hopefully i'll see you next time bye